Hey Ray, so today I'm going to do a unboxing review of a new little project that I'm going to be starting to do. It's a bead embroidery kit, which is kind of like cross-stitching with beads. And I got this off at Amazon. Um, this one is called Fairy Tales of the East. And this was, I want to say it was like $31, although I had like $22 in Amazon credit or gift cards. So... Um, and I will put a link to the store I got it from on below. So let's see. I've uh, watched a few videos lately on some of these. There's not too much out there. And this is a partial. Uh, the only full ones I've seen are on AliExpress. And they're like those big, giant, enormous ones. And they're like $100. So I wanted to start somewhat small. Let's see what we have in here. So here are the beads. And I want to say they're size 10 beads. And these are actually pretty nice beads. They look, um, I've heard on watching some videos, the ones from AliExpress, and I've heard like the beads are all misshapen. But these are all the same size beads. These are check beads. Um, so here we have an instruction sheet. We have a chart so we have an instruction sheet and I know it tells you to go in the same direction instead of a cross stitch you're doing a half cross stitch so we have those and then we have a letter um, from the company thank you for purchasing this in this um, it's from the beads creative team and if you go on Amazon they come up a lot. It was between this and an elephant. Oh, so this is surprising because the ones I did see on YouTube, like that I was watching, they were kind of on that Ada cloth, like regular cross stitch cloth. And this is definitely like a very silky fabric. As you can tell, it's totally. So I'm interested to see how this is going to work out. But here it is. And again, it's not too big um, and where you see the color parts here that is all beaded and then this part here would not be beaded okay so then you have a key right here that I guess goes with the beads um, as we can see the beads are numbered so that would go with this chart, which goes with, I guess, watching the pattern. Now, I haven't ever done this. This is my first time doing this. So, that's interesting. So, it must be in two, okay, so the pattern is two pages. I'll zoom out a little bit. So, you have your first top of the bee, the first top of the peacock, and then you have your second half of the peacock, um, the bottom half. So here you have your numbers for the symbols. So you have your symbols on here, and here on your chart, you have, you can match up the symbols. And then I guess you would like cross them out as you go along, vice versa. Um, so then it tells you the symbol, you match it up, and there's your color. And then you have your colors here. However, I mean, then you have your, I mean, some of these colors you can tell, like, there's only one pink, and there's only one pink here, and then there's, like, one purple. But for the blues and the greens, um, you probably would want to double check on here. So, let's see. What else do we have? Okay, so let's see what's in here. So we have this, and then we have our beads, and they sent us, um, okay, so is there, like, a needle in here? I have my beads packets and these are like I said these are nice these are all the same size these are nice beads um, and you know if anybody has like links to other sites that they want to recommend be you know feel free to post them in the bottom I'll post the link to where I got this one I kind of want to interested to see what kind of string I have I do a lot of jewelry making and um, so I have a lot of jewelry thread. I actually, you know, I use a lot of this wildfire. So I'll see how this is. I also have a lot of nylon, like Nymo thread. 
So I'll see what works best. We'll see how good this is compared to that. Um, this is pricey, so, you know. Um, but this feels like a nylon thread, and I know like the ones I've seen from AliExpress the videos, they give them more of like an embroidery thread. And this is, like I said, this is definitely like a nylon type thread. So we have the thread. And I can really use that. And I think there's, okay. So here are the beading needles. They give you two. And that's the other thing I've heard some people complaining about was the needles. Like, I think with the bigger projects, they give you a lot of needles, but they're not always the best needles. Now, I have, um, I also have some other beading needles. So, I mean, I'll see how good these are. Um, I have some of these to thread the needles with. It didn't come with this. I, I just have these. And I got to decide whether I want to use, like, what I'm going to put this in because again it's a very smooth kind of silky fabric so I am interested and maybe that is because it is I don't know why it's different okay so let us see um, I gotta figure out if I want to put it in the square thing or not I have a hoop and I know I have some bigger ones I don't know where they are I can always pick them up they're pretty inexpensive but I'm thinking that once you put start beading it this will be fine to do certain spots but once you've beaded this is not going to be wide enough um you know you can't really put the hoop on where you beat it I don't think I have this um I did some punch needles some years ago so I bought this frame I remember how this thing works It's so slippery, it keeps falling out of here. All right, so I don't wanna take my key off. I'll give you a little diagram on how to do this, and it didn't say whether this thread should be doubled or not, so I'm doubling it, um, and it did say to tie a knot. I know like there's ways in embroidery where you don't put a knot in, but this says to do a knot, so I'm gonna try it with the knot and I'm going to do it doubled. I set up by, um, I just took some Jane Davenport journal tape that I had, um, just because I knew it would be easy to pick this back up so I can reuse these um, without having it be too sticky. And I just put the symbols. There are 15 beads. Um, there's only a couple of the pink. I mean, I could start a whole new tray, but I didn't want to start one for one color. And there's only a couple of the pink. So, um, or a few of the pink, um, it tells you about the grams. So I left off that number 10 and skipped it and put the 15 in the 10 spot. So let's see, and let's just try this out. I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this before. Last time I even cross-stitched something was, you know, probably 10 years ago or a long time ago. So the first thing it calls for is the three of the plus ones. So the plus ones are six, number six. So I need three of number six. So you come in and it tells you to come in the first one, insert the needle at the left bottom point. So right here, I'm going to insert the needle here. Let me, uh, I'm going to totally zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And what I'll do is I'll try it out a couple of stitches, then I will work on this and then show you guys my progress. Because I know this is very slow going. You know, the thing about this though is, uh, like I, I don't have much time. I do a lot of different crafts. Um, so you pick it up through the bottom left point here and then you pick up the bead. So I don't know if it's easier to take the bead out. These are like, like I said, these are really nice beads. They're exactly perfectly, you know, they're all symmetrical. Um, but as I was saying, one of the things is that it's relaxing 
you know, this monotonous kind of stress relieving. I actually took out my diming paint in last night, which I hadn't done in a long time. And I just worked on it for a few hours because I haven't been feeling that good. And I'm kind of, I'm, I'm on vacation, um, but super stressful and busy right now. And it was just kind of to zone out, like totally zone out. So, I mean, you, it obviously would be helpful to have this on some sort of a loom thing, um, but you don't need it. Um, I think so far I'm doing okay, and I will put it in that frame. We'll see. Um, so you just go up, and I need four of these plus signs. So... Um, pick it up. I dropped one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Put it there. Pick it up. Let's see, and then I'm going to go into that dot. So you're just kind of going on the dots. Um, and I'm making a big mess. Yay, look at that. Big mess, big mess, big mess. Um, and I've seen some of these. Okay, so again, we come up in the dot. Um, I don't know if I like this string. Um, okay, so, so far my ideas of this kit is the bees are really good quality. Um, the only thing I was a little disappointed at is I don't know about this silky canvas. Uh, I was really expecting that Ada cloth, like the regular cross stitch cloth. I mean, this might work out in the end because it's shiny once it's filled in. I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but the kit is really nicely put together. Um, instructions are good. The charts are good. The beads are excellent. You know, the needle so far seems to be good. The thread seems to be good. Uh, like I said, I have the wildfire. I don't even know if I'm going to use the wildfire. So, yeah, I mean, it's a little pricey, but it's definitely, I think, you know, it's a good kit. Um, there was actually an elephant I saw, too, that I was thinking of. It's a toss-up between. So we'll see if I ever finish this. Luckily, I will be off for the summer soon, so I will have a lot more free time. This is a busy time for me. Um, but once, you know, I have my... You know, because I work for the school system, so I'll be off soon. Or I might tutor during the summer a little bit, but I don't work that much during the summer. And, you know, my kids are off, so I'm not stressing about my kids. And I'll have a lot more free time to hopefully work on this. But, I don't know, I was really intrigued because I do do beading. And um, so it's kind of like a com combination of... You know, like I have a lot of bees. And one of the things I was trying is I actually tried doing out of like a regular cross stitch to see if I could bead that. Um, and I guess you could. I actually have tried bead embroidery like, you know, of my own design and stuff where you kind of use all different kinds of beads in the past. So um, I was thinking about maybe even like using a light pad to draw an image. And probably that might be something else I'm going to look into doing. Um... Maybe, you know, make up some of my own designs by buying some cloth and, like I said, I could take an image and do on the pad, maybe, you know, color it in and might see how that goes. So, I don't know. I think this... And I also think that, like I said, there's not a lot of full stitches um, and the ones that almost are more full stitch are like cottages. I don't know. I wasn't thrilled with those. So... Um, and then they have these ginormous ones that are the full stitches, but you know, just like diamond painting, I think, you know, if it's, this is kind of like a lot of people, I, not a lot of people, but people are doing this. And I know this is not a new thing. People have been doing this for a long time, but I think it might start catching on. You know, people are always trying to like, you know, there's fads. So I'm not saying this is going to be a fad, but I've seen people on YouTube, more people starting to do this, I guess, on YouTube. And... I think if that's the case where it becomes more popular, then definitely more, you know, people are going to be selling better kits than what's out there now. Because a lot of the kits are partials. 
Um, Etsy has some, AliExpress has some. Oh, there was another site that I seen too that has some. And this is uh, so. There's some other sites. Okay, so the beads all you want them to go all in this thing. They're so tiny. Um, and there's other kits that um. Let's see what number do I need? The plus sign again. So the plus sign is here. There are other kits that, you know, don't just do, like, I wanted something that you filled in, but there's some really cool other kits, and I might, you know, look into that in another video, or maybe I'll, we can go different ones, look at different ones, but you just type in, like, bead embroidery or embroidery cross stitch, and some of them, like I said, they use different size beads, and the, you go in all different ways, and you're kind of, like, on pictures. There's, there's a lot of different ones. Those ones on Etsy are kind of like that. Um, cause I did kind of research this for a little bit. And the other thing was too, for AliExpress is that they take so long to come and I just wanted to try it. Like I said, I wanted to get a smaller one. I wanted to try it out. This was expensive. You can definitely get cheaper ones. Um, but I didn't want to wait for something to get shipped from China or I don't even know. Some of them come from China. Some of them come from like Russia. Um, cause this, and I want to even say like whatever. I, I don't know. I think, is this Russian? The language? I, I think it is. Not quite sure. So I want to say the kit could be from Russia. Or I know sometimes they're from the Ukraine or... Um, not quite sure. So, I mean, I ordered this from Amazon and it came from like Staten Island. So, I mean, that's not where it came from. But anyways, I'm going to work on this a little bit, and I don't know if you can kind of see where the bees are right here, this little row. Obviously, this is going to take a long time. So anyways, I will give an update. I'll put the link to this kit, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.